In this video, we provide the solution to question number 19 from the practice final exam for math 1050. We're given a quadratic function, f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 2, and we have to set up and simplify the difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So that's where we're going to start with. Take f of x plus h minus f of x, and this all sits above h. Our goal is to get rid of h in the denominator. So we have to evaluate f of x plus h. That means everywhere we see an x in the original formula, we have to replace it with an x plus h. So we get 2 times x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h plus 2. Then we subtract from f of x, so we just put down the original formula. 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. Uh, this all sits above the h from before. We need to expand uh, the, the f plus x, the f of x plus h part, right? So you have that x plus h squared, foil it out or use the binomial theorem, whichever you prefer. Um, so you'll get two times x squared plus two xh plus h squared. I'm actually gonna take the liberty to distribute the two right now. So you actually get two x squared plus four xh plus two h squared. Uh, then we have to distribute the negative 3 right here. So it's going to give us negative 3x minus 3h. You have a plus 2. That's in the first group. And then we subtract from it again f of x, which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. This all sits above h. Now, if we have expanded the f of x plus h correctly, everything from the second group should cancel with something in the first group. So you have a 2x squared minus 2x squared. Um, we're going to have a negative 3x minus negative 3x. And then finally, we have a 2 minus 2. All of those cancel out. And so in the numerator, what's left behind? 4xh plus 2h squared uh, minus 3h all above h. You'll notice that everything in the numerator is now divisible by h. Let's factor it out. That leaves behind 4x plus 2h minus 3. And this all sits above h now. So now we're at the moment of joy and ecstasy here. We found a divisor of h in the numerator. It'll then cancel out with the divisor of h in the denominator. And we're left now with the simplified um, difference quotient of 4x plus 2h minus 3. Uh, this is the quantity we were looking for. And so now we're done.